Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw the character Spear from the new show Primal. So to start off with this, we're actually going to begin with his body. So starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line that kind of goes up at a diagonal, but it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that goes up. And then starting right here, I'm going to draw a little curved line to here. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw another little line that just goes up like this. And then on this side, I'm going to draw that same line, but it's going to go the other way. Now right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve in, and then it's just going to have a little bit of a curve down. Now up here, I want to put his hand. So starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line that's going to go up, over, and then it's going to kind of curve around for a thumb. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up, it's going to curve back down like this for one of his fingers. Then right here, I'm going to draw another finger. I'm going to put one more right here. And then I'm going to put his pinky right here. And then I'm going to curve this down to kind of finish off his hand. Then I'm just going to add some little lines on the ends of his fingers just to kind of show where there's some movement. And then I'm just going to draw a little line here and then a little line right here by his thumb. Then starting over here, I'm going to draw this line down just a little bit. And then I'm going to draw his chest. So starting here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down. Then it's going to curve in. Then I'm going to draw a line that just goes down like this. And then right here, you want to make a line that goes down. And then it's just going to curve around and then come back up to here. And then I'm going to make another line that just kind of curves up to here. Now starting up here on the arm, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of curves down. And then I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes right down like this. Now starting here, I want to make his other arm. So I'm going to make a little bump right here for his shoulder. And then I'm going to make another bump for his bicep. And then I'm going to curve this line up for his arm. And then I'm going to make a little line that goes out. It's going to curve in and then come around like this, kind of like a little hook shape. Then I'm going to curve this back around for a finger. And then I'm going to draw another one. Put one right here. And then I'm going to put one more here. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down like this. And then I'm going to curve a line that just comes back up to here. Then I'm just going to add two little lines here. They can go a little longer. And then I'm going to put a line here and then another line here. Then 
And then right here, I'm going to draw two little curved lines for some details. And then two more little curved lines right here. And now I'm going to draw his foot. So he's going to be like jumping in the air. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up. It's going to curve around and it's going to come down like this. It's going to be skinnier up here and bigger down here. Then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve around for a toe. Then I'm going to make a smaller one. And then I'm just going to put four more right here. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then comes back up for his foot. Then I'm going to put a little line here for his knee, a little curved line here for his ankle, another line for his knee, and then two little lines right here. Now starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line that kind of curves up to his foot. And then it's just going to kind of connect back here. Then right here, I'm going to draw another line that's just going to go out, and then it's going to curve out like this. Then I'm going to put like some little zigzag lines on here that are some different lengths. And then you just want to put two little curved lines on here. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that curves down and then in for his knee. Then I'm going to draw a little line that goes down. And then another line down for his foot. Then I'm just going to curve a line down for his toe. And I'm going to make one two, and then three more. So there's four little toes. And then I'm going to draw one big toe right here. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up for his foot. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes out. And then I'm going to draw this line. I'm going to curve it up like this. Get really close to this big toe. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes right to here for his leg. Then I'm going to make a little square shape for his big toe. A little curve for his ankle. And then just a couple little lines around here just for some details on his leg. Now for his face. So... Starting right here by his arm, we want to make his face. Now his face is going to look a little bit small compared to his body. So starting right here by his chest, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up. And then it's going to go in like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing like this, just kind of curve up. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out and then kind of curve up. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing right here. Now he's going to have his mouth open like he's yelling. So I'm going to draw a line right here. It's just going to curve up. It's going to go around and then come down like this. I'm going to put a couple little squares in there for some teeth on the bottom. And then I'm just going to put about three on here for the top. And then two little bumps for his tongue. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little curved line for his nose. And then two little lines on the outside for the nostrils. Then I'm going to draw a circle up here and then a circle right here.
I'm going to put two little dots in it. This might be kind of hard to see. Two little dots for his pupils. And then I'm going to give him like some big kind of check marks that I'm going to color in for like his eyebrows. And then I'm just going to draw two little lines in for like his cheekbones. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up like this and go around. I'm going to go around his head and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to curve up and come back for his hair. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out, it's going to curve down and come back up. And then I'm going to draw another one that's going to go down, it's going to curve around and then come back like this by his shoulder. Then I'm going to draw some little zigzag lines on top of his head just to show that the hair is on his face. And then right here I'm going to make a little kind of moon shape for his ear. And then right here I'm just going to draw a little line for his neck. Okay, now the final thing that we want to draw is his spear. That's where he gets his name from. So, starting right here, I'm going to draw a nice long line that just kind of goes up at an angle. And then I'm going to just kind of jump over here, draw it down. I'm going to curve this line back up to here. And then I'm going to just kind of curve this line here. Then I'm just going to make kind of like a really long, long diamond shape like this for the spear. Going to add a couple little curved lines on here. And then just a little X pattern up here with some little lines on it. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple little lines onto here just for some details. And there you go. There is your drawing of Spear from the new show Primal. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's a really good show. I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.